Well, as you looked out the window today and stepped out the door, lots of sunshine, especially for the first part of the day. But over the last few hours, we've seen a few more clouds sneaking into our region from the west. That's a sign of some changes that are coming. And oh, by the way, that cold weather that we had today is going to be history as well. After tomorrow, we begin to warm up as early as tomorrow. Right now, temperatures at 58 degrees. Dew point is still mighty dry at 16 degrees, so we don't have enough moisture at the surface to have any rain in the picture for the next 24 hours or so. Once we get beyond that, we're going to see much more moisture and a lot more rain is going to be around. Temperatures around the Big Bend area in South Georgia are generally in the 50s. A couple exceptions, though, are uh, right around 59 degrees in St. Mark's, 54 in Quincy. Looks like everybody's actually in the 50s. And we do have some very dry conditions in place. 19% humidity here in the capital city, 47% in Carabelle, so it's bone dry. And it was even drier earlier today thanks to northerly winds coming down and bringing in that cooler, drier air. But we even had some fires showing up on the radar picture a little bit earlier this afternoon. Some control burns. You can see about four, five, six of them across North Florida and South Georgia. Very dry, breezy day. So prime conditions for some brush fires and not so good for those recreational fires. Again, those northerly winds bringing in that dry air. But winds will start shifting over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours or so all in advance of our next storm system, which is moving through the western Gulf Coast. Some moisture ahead of it well up above our heads, and that's coming here in the form of some clouds. But this is, again, well in the upper levels of the atmosphere, not at the surface yet. So until the moisture increases at the surface, we're not going to see the rain. And that's not going to be until Friday. Notice how the rain is way back toward Louisiana, Texas, all the way back up into Oklahoma, where they're seeing some big-time showers and storms. And we're going to see some pretty hefty thunderstorms as we head toward Friday and Saturday. So not the best of timing, but get ready for that. On the other hand, we're going to see the warmer temperatures. Thanks to this high pressure that's been right over us for today, that's going to scoot off into the Carolinas and western Atlantic as we head toward Thursday. And especially Friday, the moisture is going to build ahead of our next storm system. So tomorrow's that transition day where we're squeezing between the systems and we're going to see some clouds, but no rain until Friday. Here's a look at that forecast for tonight. We're going to see temperatures in the low range of the 40s. Of course, a little tease of the, what's coming for the weekend with those showers and storms. 41 for tonight, cool and cloudy with an east-northeasterly wind coming in at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be very close to 70 degrees, but not going to be good tanning weather because of these high clouds filtering the sky and temperatures will be warming up though almost 10 degrees warmer than today and that seven day forecast shows that we had the rain coming back Friday and Saturday thanks to that storm system 90 percent chance on Friday and Saturday slightly warmer temperatures actually quite a bit warmer then the back half of the weekend looks good if only we could have springtime Tallahassee on Sunday instead of Saturday